Welcome viewers, it's your turn to know more about your surrounding. In this case, this documentary is going to provide maximum information about the cause and the control measures of bedbugs, which have encroached Vika, Kiambu County. The documentary presents various ways and methods of fighting bedbugs, aka Kunguni in Swahili language. My friends, sit at the back and enjoy watching. Bedbugs are small living organisms whose body is flattened at the bottom. The salient feature gives them the ability to hide easily from view during the day when they are not active. These bedbugs are commonly known as kunguni in Swahili language and usually feed on human blood. The organism is mostly found in dry weather environment where it feels comfortable and on the process lays eggs and multiply faster. Perhaps this is the reason behind bedbugs invasion in Vika, Kiambu County. Vika being one of the major industrial and commercial bases in Kenya has found itself in a terrible and bitter situation of bedbug encroachment as a result of its hot and dry climate. As I was carrying out my research, I paid a visit to Mokiriti, a small market in Vika. This is Mukiriti Market, aka the home of bedbugs, where I met one of the residents. This is the hostel where I live. Yes. Yeah, you're much welcome. Wow, it looks so cute by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you can have a seat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm in Jackson's house. It's located in Mukiriti Market. All right, now, uh, Jackson is going to show us. Uh, how it does control bedbugs or what measures do you take when you are trying to control the bedbugs? Uh, basically, there are various methods that we usually use yes. to, to control bedbugs. Uh, first and foremost, we use oh, boil the water. Yeah. You boil water until it reaches the boiling point. Then you spray. I will show you how we do it. You spray, oh, especially on the joints of the beds where mostly the bed bugs hide. So you spray with hot water in the joints of the beds. And another thing, we use fum fume sides to control bed bugs. That is one of the most effective ways. Yes. Because it is able, even together with the, with the cold water, hot wa water, it is able to kill all the eggs. It is able to kill the bed bugs themselves. Uh, the same case with the fume fume sites. Okay. Uh, water and fume sites mm -hmm. usually kills b both the eggs mm -hmm. and both the bed bugs. Okay. Then we have another method, mm -hmm. although it's not practical or rather it is not as effective as it uh, as the others. Now, because you've got that uh, experience mm -hmm. of uh, dealing with this or fighting with these bed bugs, mm -hmm. now uh, which which method is effective? Actually, the most to control. To control now, the best method of controlling is, of course, to maintain the hygiene. Yes. You maintain high standards of hygiene. But in case that the, in case uh, you are rather invested with these uh, uh, bed bugs, what you usually do mostly, fumicide is the most effective. 
fumicides. Yeah, you can use all the other methods. You can use the hand picking method, mm-hmm. of which it is not as effective as the others. You can use boiling water, mm-hmm. using boiled water. Yeah, but maintaining high standards of hygiene so that you may prevent. Okay. But now treating, you use that fumicide to treat. Now, uh, the fumicide now it's the best method of controlling these things. It's the best of treating. Of treating, not controlling. To control, of, of course, it's to ensure that, uh, or rather, to control, yeah, you will use fumicide, even boiled water. I've seen it because sometimes we, we lack the money to buy fumicide, so we use boiled water. Yeah. And that works for us. Like at the moment, uh, we have not been experiencing bed bugs in this room. Now, after how long does uh, bed bugs take to multiply themselves? Uh, according to the research that has been made, is that after a bed bug molts from the from the egg, it just takes eight, eight, hours, eight hours to reach maturity mm-hmm. and to start laying eggs and to start multiplying. Mm-hmm. So eight hours are enough for a bed bug to, to to emerge and to start multiplying. Now, what are the measures that uh, that you can uh, recommend the government of Kenya? to help the people who live or reside in, in these places or because now these bed bugs are found in mostly dry areas hot and dry areas for example in the, here in Dika it's hot and dry isn't it yeah. so how can you uh, recommend the government to do to those people so that at least they are not infested by these parasites i think what i can tell the government to do is to to to, to bring in or rather to distribute these fumicides to, to, to the areas or rather to people who reside within this this particular town, Dika. Uh, because some of us or rather some people do not have do not have that ability of affording the fumicide because they are sold at higher prices. Most people do not afford. And there they suffer a lot. They are affected mostly by this bed bug. So that is the only thing that I can tell the government to consider, especially those who cannot afford. Basically, those who are living in host- hostels. Yeah. Because you'll find that in a particular room, in most hostels, you'll find that uh, around eight people are sharing the room, even to an extent of 12 people sharing the, a single room. And we all know that bed banks usually uh, prefer those places which are highly crowded. So we expect a lot of a multiplication in crowded areas and especially in hostels and who, who live in the hostels definitely students yeah. so the government should ensure that they bring the fumicides to the hostels now which are the specific places where we can find now these bed bugs mostly mm-hmm. where can we find them in a uh, within the hostel within the hostel mm-hmm. definitely you'll just get them in if an hostel has some got has some cracks you'll get them inside the cracks and again inside the mattresses if the mattress has got some some is porous you'll yeah. just get them inside the the mattress and again mostly in the joints now of the beds you'll find a lot of bed bugs there if they are present in your room that is where they hide Now viewers, as you can see, I'm joined by another resident of Mokiriti town and he's going to tell us how he does control these bed bugs. Yes, how are you my friend? Uh, thank you very much. Yes, what's yes, your name? Um, Timothy, a resident here in Mokiriti. Yes. And you have done a good work for coming to visit us because these things have become a major crisis in this place. In, in that, uh, most of people who are living in hostels, they have been in, infested by these bed bugs. Yeah. So what I will advise people is just to find a method to control these bed bugs. Mm-hmm. Of course, by using heat water. Now, you personally, what are the methods or the major methods that you always use to make sure that you are fight uh, these uh, bed bugs? First of all, uh, before I go and buy some if, uh, chemicals yes. to control. I I boil some water, which I use to you know mostly they they, they settle on the cracks of beds and other cracks on the 
on the walls. Mm -hmm. So I use hot water. I pour hot water to those cracks. Yes, uh, you are going to show us that practically. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that now the viewers, you know, there are some viewers who are watching you right now. They want to know how uh, to carry out these control measures. The major causes of this base bag, these are things that, you know, in overcrowded areas, someone come from another place, other from Nairobi, other from uh, Makongeni, they come to uh, uh, they should come and settle in one place, especially in hostels. Yeah. So these things, they get a chance to accumulate in the hostels. Yes, that's how they spread. Yes. Now, uh, you are going to show us now how you do control them, so that now the viewers can see. Okay. For me, what I use during hot water method, you used to, to, to heat water up to 100 degrees Celsius. So that, and then you, you know, these things, they like to reside in these cracks. Yeah. So I normally use very hot water and I pour it here. You don't need to pour the hot water to the mattress. You just pour to these cracks. And then all over, all over you heat. And uh, uh, I commend people to adhere this uh, method because it's very cheap and affordable to us all. Uh, for those who, who are unable to, to buy those uh, drugs, they can use this method because it's very effective. When these bed bugs are found in the mattresses, what, how do you control them? How do you do? Okay, after all, yes. when you have already poured that hot water into these cracks, there are some others which are hiding inside these mattresses. Yes. You just pick it, hand picking, and you put it in that hot water. Or some people prefer to remove it and just kill it definitely but you know that is singing smell yes. so me no. i which one do you prefer Must just just to pick it and put it into that hot water mm -hmm. then after you finish you go and dispose okay. of that water now well, is there any other method that you left uh, that you left that can be used in controlling this parasite yes there are chemical methods mm -hmm. there are some chemicals which are very effective to yes. this uh, bed works but mostly the problem with these bed bugs, if they they take time and accumulate <coughs> and they they, they accumulate, they, they they some of them there are some species which undergo mutation. So there are some if that drug is not effective, you are going you are going to actually to to use another kind of drug which is very expensive, but mostly effective. But the problem is the bed bugs mostly they are they mutate. So after all, you have wash all over with that drug. There are some species which still exist, so they need a lot of consideration. Okay, thank you very much okay. uh, for the information. You have helped. Okay, somebody. thank you for coming. Okay. Now, viewers, as you've seen, those are the various methods that can be used to control these parasites, or uh, the kunguni, as uh, they are commonly known. After these findings, it was evident that the cause of bedbugs is poor hygiene in the environment one is living. Bedbugs can be prevented and controlled by early detection and treatment through various ways, such as the heating method, using fumicides, hand picking and killing starving them to death and maintaining higher standards of hygiene. And in fact, when you have undertaken all these measures, then the question of the cause and the control of bedbugs encroachment will have been answered. Thank you very much viewers for watching this documentary. I'm Ravi Dennis.